two. In his book, We're Called to Be a Movement, Reverend Dr. William J. Barber II states this about the history of racism in America and about the mindset of the racist. He says they see the current growing diversity and it scares them because their entire world is coming apart. And we need to pray for them, not lambast them, because they're not even following a political party. They're following something else. First of all, they're scared because their whole world, um, their whole existential reality was built up on who's up and who's down, who's on top and who's on the bottom. Um, and um, racism has become their religion. It has become more religion than sociological construct. And that's why the first civil war was fought in the church. For the church split 20 years before the country split. That's why we now have Northern Methodist and Southern Methodist, Northern Presbyterian and Southern Presbyterian, um, Baptist and Southern Baptist. The church had a civil war before the country did. There was an entire argument over whether or not you even baptized the slave. One argument said you don't baptize the slave because of his skin color, because his skin color was a permanent sign of the demonic, demonic the sign of Cain. Although, if you read the scripture correctly, you realize that the sign of Cain was really a sign of grace, for it was a sign of protection over Cain, but it was misinterpreted by them um, in their warped minds. And the other side would say you baptize the slave because if you baptize him, it'll make him more docile and make him more amenable um, to being a slave. The, the whole struggle of slavery was built on four evils. Four evils. The first, bad biology. You, your, the color of your skin determined your brain size and your uh, mental capacity and ability. The second was sick sociology. Some people are supposed to be over here and other people are supposed to be over there, which led to things like segregation and redlining and a whole lot of things in this country. The third is evil economics, that the ends justified the means. And so as long as we were making money, um, everything, our methodology was all right. And the fourth was heretical ontology. Things are the way they are because God said it was okay and said it was so. These four things became the basis and the pillar that racism used in this country to grow. Now it is time for us um, to take the necessary steps to embark upon the journey of dismantling racism and doing it in a way that is healthy and wholesome for all. And so while we are called to be a movement um, states um, uh, that we must pray and then act, act in love, move in love, give in love, and go in love. This is Pastor Kevin McNeil, Bethany Christian Church, Roanoke, Virginia. God bless you.